Hello and welcome to Ada Pulse, the community-funded news channel, keeping you up to date with all the news and emerging projects that are in and around the Cardano ecosystem. And remember, because we're community-funded, there is no coin shilling or paper motion. We're just here to break down news and deliver it to you in a way that's easy for you to understand. Like today, we have the project of the Dandelion API, which is essentially a set of APIs designed to simplify the development on Cardano. And this is an article by Laura, one of the newer writers from the Ada Pulse team, onboarded thanks to the funding we get through Catalyst. Uh, she's also got her own YouTube channel, her and Sue Raj. I'll include a link to that, so check out that channel too. But the title of this may sound a bit complicated. It's not. It's going to be super easy and super entertaining because I'm the one doing it. So do click the like button, hit subscribe, and get that bell button so you can get notified when we've got content available. I'm Josh from ATM Stateball, your presenter for today. Let's just crack straight on with this, shall we? Now, dApps on Cardano are growing and it's becoming a real popular choice for developers. But you've got to remember, building on Cardano can be complex and time like consuming, especially if you think of developers who are like new to the ecosystem. So this is where you have projects like Dandelion API. And what that is, is essentially a set of APIs powered by the Dandelion project. And what it wants to do is make it easier for developers to access and work on Cardano. What's an API? Now, any web developer will have APIs coming out their asshole. They know, they know exactly what they are. But for those who don't, an API, well, API stands for Application Programming Interface. And to put it in a complicated way, it's a set of protocols, routines, and tools that software developers use to build and integrate software applications. But to give you a, a bit of an idea, of uh, how it works in the real world. Uh, check out this. This is um, my Fiat mining company. And as you see on our contact page, we have a map and it's a Google map. So it's not just an image of a map, it's a Google map that we get from a Google API. So we use the API to access the Google information. And if you look here on, on the back end on our portal where we use the Google API, you can see how we're accessing all the Google information via it. So it's Basically, we have in Google within our website. So it's like an, a program within a program. It's pretty cool. So to put simply, you know, using my example, like the APIs typically define the data sort of structures and communication protocols used to access the service. So like, as you see from my example, we're following the rules of the Google map and but we also have the constraints of using it as well. And and as you could see, it can be implemented in different ways, whereas I had it on my contact form, but I'm also using it on my sort of back end portal. Now, APIs are used all over the place in modern software development, especially like if you look at websites and, and mobile sort of applications and things like that. But what it's essentially doing at its core is it's enabling developers to reuse existing software components. So to enable them to build more complex and integrate those applications faster and more efficiently. Why APIs are important for blockchain and DAP development. Now, there's a whole load of reasons why APIs are handy when it comes to blockchain and, and developing dApps and stuff like that. So we're going to go through them all now. So here you go. Interoperability. APIs enable interoperability between different blockchain platforms and dApps. This allows developers to build applications that can interact with multiple blockchains and dApps, leading to seamless integration and data sharing. Efficiency. APIs provide a standardized way for developers to access data and functionality within a blockchain or dApp. This streamlines development and reduces time and effort required to create complex applications. Accessibility. APIs make it easier for developers to access and use blockchain technologies without requiring in-depth knowledge of how they work which expands the potential sort of developer pool and democratizes access to blockchain technology. Integration. APIs allow dApps to integrate with external services, such as like payment gateways, identity verification services, and social media platforms. This can expand the functionality and capabilities of a dApp and provide users with more options and features. Security. 
APIs provide secure access to blockchain data and functionality, protecting sensitive data and transactions from unauthorized access or manipulation. And then there's scalability. APIs can help blockchain and dApp developers scale their applications by providing an easy way to integrate with other technologies and services. What is Dandelion API? Well, the Dandelion project is led by Gimbal Labs and operated by Peacepool. And so basically it just offers a load of, of APIs that gives developers access to like different layers of the Cardano blockchain. So they include the Explorer, Summit, GraphQL, Ogmios, PostGIST, Coios and Blockfrost. And so these APIs can be used to build like a whole load of stuff. So whether it's, you know, like dApps, light wallets and, and whatever else. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look into the Dandelion API and sort of examine its use cases for Cardano projects and see how they see how they do. And we'll explore different paths available for developers to get started. Essentially, I'm just going to blitz through the various APIs offered and what and you know a little bit of the benefits of using the Dandelion API for building on Cardano. Getting started with Dandelion API. So with Dandelion API, there's essentially two paths developers can take to like to get started. So firstly, you've got a hosted instance of almost every available Cardano API offered as a free service, you know, by Gimbal Labs. And you have, secondly, the open source project to deploy community services using Kubernetes. So for developers, Dandelion sort of hosted instances allow them to start prototyping their projects like straight away. And by, you know, by choosing the API that works for their, you know, best for their needs. And with Dandelion API, developers can use the same code base of open source projects like IOG, Emergo, and whatever other community developers, um, even if they decide to host the APIs themselves in the future. So what Dandelion is doing is offering basically a range of APIs that allow developers to access different layers of the Cardano blockchain. So it's an API of APIs. Some of the APIs available through the Dandelion project. So I told you I was going to blitz through them. So here you have GraphQL, and that can be used to gather, compose information from the blockchain and send signed transactions to the blockchain. Then we have the Explorer, which can be used to gather sort of basic information from the blockchain. The Ogmios API, that can be used to gather live blockchain information directly from a Cardano node instance. You have PostGREST API, which can be used to perform SQL queries to gather information directly from the Cardano DB Sync database. The Rosetta ABI can be used to integrate applications with multiple blockchains in a simpler, faster and more reliable way, really. Benefits of using Dandelion API for building on Cardano. So firstly, we've got simplified development. So the Dandelion API simplifies the process by building on Cardano by providing developers with a set of easy to use APIs. I don't know how many times I've said APIs today, but it makes it possible for developers to focus on the business logic of their dApp rather than worrying about sort of underlying infrastructure. But then you've got cost effectiveness, so Dandelion is, you know, offering a, as a free community service, which means that developers can start building on Cardano without incurring any costs. So eventually the project will enable ways to um, Dandelion node operators to contribute to the network of Dandelion instances. So that the Cardano API layer is as robust as kind of like Cardano itself. But you've also got access to a wide range of APIs. So Dandelion's APIs provide developers with access to a huge amount. And this allows the developers to choose the API that best suits their needs, as I said earlier, and build a wide range of dApps. But it's open source as well. So as it's an open source project, that means like that developers can access the source code themselves, even make changes and, you know, and contribute to the project. And it makes it possible for developers to improve the API and make it better suited for their needs so that they can make the changes themselves on their own project. Conclusion. You know, so in conclusion, Dandelion API, it, you know, it's a massively powerful tool for developers who want to build on Cardano. Um, 
because it's it's simplifying the development. It's cost effective. You know, it, it's encouraging and inspiring innovation. And obviously, as I've said a million times, provides access to a wide range of APIs. But you've got to remember it's open source as well. So it's completely transparent and other people can contribute to it. So it can only get better. So with Dandelion, well, with the Dandelion API, developers can quickly and easily build dApps on Cardano. And it's making it, you know, essential tool for any developer working in the Cardano ecosystem. So you talk about outreach. We want to reach out to developers to build on the Cardano blockchain. And that's exactly what this project is doing. So, you know, I, you know, all the best of them, if you ask me. So, but that brings us to the end of the article for today. As usual, click the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get notified as soon as we've got content available. The full article of this can be found online if you want to go and check, check that out yourself. But I'm Josh from ATM Stakepool. He presents Freda Pulsar today. I'll see you next time. Thank you.